Well, Morgan Mecca, it's been 22 years since Josh Wheeler went to high school here, but walking through the halls, you can really feel the impact he had on the people who knew him. You can see here behind me the flags flying at his old high school at half mass. Today, they took a break from normal school activities to honor a hero. Students, teachers, uh, pardon the interruption. As many of you know and have heard, one of our former graduates, Joshua Wheeler, was killed in the line of duty yesterday while participating in a rescue mission in Iraq. A 1994 graduate of Muldrow High School, Josh Wheeler left for the military shortly after. He was one of those guys that always had your back. You know, if something went wrong, you could always turn to Josh. His brothers in arms probably feel the same way. After 11 tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, Wheeler was killed yesterday while helping rescue 70 prisoners from ISIS. He's the first U.S. soldier to die in this fight. We're so proud of him, but at the same time, we're, it's really a, a heart-wrenching thing. His old football coach remembers a small player with a lot of fight, just like the town he's from. When we're faced with uh, tough situations, we're going to come out fighting. And I think that's, that's probably what Josh did. It put him in harm's way. But, uh, you know, we're really proud of him that he was willing to accept that challenge and that role. Please stand in honor of Officer Wheeler as we pause for a moment of silence. Now, we also spoke to a close family friend today. He tells me that the members of the family who live here in town are getting ready to board a plane tonight to head to Delaware to meet the body. Coming up tonight on KOCO News at 6, we'll hear from that friend. For now, reporting live in Muldrow, Brian Schlonsky, KOCO 5 News.